Hi, it's Shell, and welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you decided to join me today. I decided that I wanted to review a special little lip set that I bought just a couple weeks ago. Actually, I got this around the Sephora VIB sale that time, and I just haven't even tried the set or showed it to you all. And I think that it's on sale in some of the different venues right now. So I thought, hey, you might want to know my impressions about this. This is the Anastasia Haute Holiday Lip Gloss Set. Now, if you've known me for very long, you know that I am definitely a lip product girl. I love lipsticks, I love lip glosses. It used to be that Anastasia was my favorite lip gloss brand, but then when I got to be more conscientious about what ingredients are in products, I noticed that they had a preservative that was a paraben in their lip products and I did not want to be eating parabens that can interfere with hormones and that kind of thing. I didn't want that in my products. So I started on a journey of looking around at new brands and I have come to really love the Lime Life by Alcone brands. But then I was looking around on the VIB's webpage during their sale and I noticed they had these this holiday set of lip glosses by Anastasia. And when I looked at the ingredients, I did not see parabens. It looks like, at least for this set, they have a different preservative altogether. And I had my glasses on earlier and I was gonna wear them so that I can actually read what I'm looking at right now because right now I don't have contacts available to me. So you might see a little line on my nose. It's because I had the glasses on and I may have to use my handy little magnifying glass to even read some stuff. But I wanna try these on. Now I got my lips injected, filled, just about a week ago. I have filler put into my lips a couple of times a year because without filler, I have very thin lips and I prefer them to be puffy. Right now they're a little bit swollen still, but I just wanna let you know if you notice that I look a little different, that's why. Okay, I removed the lip glosses from the box. Let me tell you the name of the first one and then we'll try it on. The name of this one is called Tasty. It's called Tasty, and here's what it looks like. I guess I'm gonna use my phone that I'm filming on for my mirror. It smells like vanilla. It smells very good. I grabbed a magnifying mirror so I could look. So really, I think this would be pretty over lipstick. It's giving me just a slight, would you say white or neutral tone with some shimmer? Again, I've got a little bit of swelling in my lips, so they look a little bumpy, a little funny, but we're gonna be real here. I'm not against a neutral lip at all, and sometimes I do go for a neutral lip, but um, yeah, I don't know. This may or may not be okay standing alone. I'm gonna use one of my Lime Life little wipes to take this off we'll try the next color I think I read somewhere in the reviews that some people said they couldn't tell the difference between any of them on their lips so we'll see what we think okay. these are paraben free and cruelty free so I'm not putting parabens on my lips all right I'm gonna use my glasses here for a sec the second one is called bubbly bubbly here's what it looks like it really has a champagne look, doesn't it? That's very pretty. I like the vanilla. That is so nice. What do we think? Do we see any difference? Honestly, I don't think I see a difference, do you? It's good. I just don't see a difference in the color. Yeah, actually, I take that back. When I turn my head a little bit, I can see a little bit of a bronze shimmer, and I didn't see that in the other one. So there is a bit of a difference. This would be really pretty over a champagne lipstick, a nude lipstick, or even if you like a brown or a brownish burgundy lipstick, that would be pretty. I know most of us aren't gonna be going to holiday parties because of the pandemic, but you might have a Zoom holiday party you could wear one of these pretty little shimmery lip glosses over your lipstick. This is called Sweet. Sweet. It looks like it's a very light pink tone. Almost white. It's so light. I'll, I'll say blush. It looks like it's blush.
while I was applying this blush color, my alarm went off on my phone and interrupted my recording. Okay, so this is this color. Any difference? Well, it doesn't have that bronze undertone, so I can see a difference there. It reminds me of the first one. Let me see the difference. Yeah, they're very close. If you look, the first one had more of a beige undertone, and then this one has more of a pink undertone. They are very pretty, though. But I will have to say it's hard to see the difference. The last one is called Clouds. It's called Clouds. It looks like it has iridescence to it. Now, I'm excited about that because I like a little iridescence on top of a lipstick. Okay, what do we think? I can see that there's a little bit of iridescence. I'll be honest, there's not a huge difference amongst all four of these, right? I think the biggest difference, I think that these three lighter colors are very, very similar. Although the one I just put on, the clouds one, has the iridescence that the others don't have. They have more of a sheen to them as opposed to the iridescent look. And then this one is way different, right? Because it's got a bronze undertone. If we needed to look for differences, that's what I would say. But I don't think it's a bad set, especially if you can get it on sale now. If you're like me and you like to try different brands and mix and match, I don't think you can go wrong with this. It's a nice formula. It's only a little bit sticky. And I say that because, as you know, if you've watched me before, I don't like sticky lip glosses. This one's a little bit sticky, but it's really not bad at all. And I know I used to really like the formula that Anastasia had in their colored lip glosses. I don't know if this is different. I hope that you will consider joining our little tribe. It's so nice. We have a great group of ladies on here. If you would like to join, please hit the little subscribe button down below and also ding the little bell so that you can be notified the next time I have videos uploading. And hey, don't forget everyone, please be kind to someone this week because it can really make a difference in their lives. And hey, I will tell you that the next video that I'm going to post is going to be some gift suggestions for online shopping. So just a little hint as to what you're gonna see next. Well, thank you so much for joining me and have a great rest of your week. Bye.